Okay, so in the last video, we set up the uh, FK controllers here. Uh, in this video, we're going to set up the IK controllers and just build the basic IK on this rig. It's not going to be too complicated. We're going to keep it fairly simple. Uh, the main thing here is that I want to build a switch from the FK to the IK. So when we built the FK, we duplicated the um, bones here and we just moved them to a new layer. I'm going to do the same thing. With this, these three bones selected, I'm just going to go to this layer here in my bone layer, and I'll go to edit mode. And I'm just going to turn on x-ray. So I'm going to do shift D, that duplicates. I'm going to hit escape. Now it looks like nothing's changed, but there are actually two layers of bones here. But if I just hit M, I can now move these to a new layer. So I'll move them over two layers, and I'll just click here. Now I'm going to do a lot of my initial IK work in local mode. So I'll go view, local view, toggle local view. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move these three bones to a new bone group. So I'll go to pose mode. I'll add a new bone group and I'll just call this IK. And I'm going to assign these to it and I'll just make them um, green. I'm just going to rename these quickly too. So I'll grab this first one. And I'm just going to name it leg underscore ik dot left dot zero zero one. And I'll click on it. I'll do command C, control C on a Mac or on a PC, sorry. I'll click on the next bone and I'll just paste in these names. So for an ik to work, I need an ik target. I'm going to make one right now. So I'm in edit mode now and I've selected on this third leg bone here. I'm going to click on this bottom tail of the bone here and I'm going to hit E and that extrudes a bone and I'm going to hit Y to constrain it to the Y axis. Now when I extrude a bone it actually parents to the bone I extruded it from and I don't want this for this target. It'll actually break my IK if the target is parented to the IK itself. So I'm going to hit Alt P clear parent. Now this is free. Uh, I'm going to go back to my rig option here my armature, click on my first layer, and I'm just going to quickly grab the root control and do control P, keep offset, just to get that out of the way and keep everything clean. I'll click back here and I'll click on this leg ik.left.004, and I'm just going to rename it um, leg or even uh, foot underscore ik.left.001. This is going to be the piece that actually moves the um, ik itself. So I'm going to go back to pose mode and I'll build my basic IK. So with the foot IK target selected, I hold shift and I click on the bottom leg joint here. Uh, let's actually do this manually. Now you'll notice that these all have copy transforms on them. That was a mistake on my part. I duplicated the deform bones. And when you duplicate bones, you also duplicate the constraints. I do not want these constraints on these bones. So I just delete them. Um, but on this bottom one here, I do want the IK constraint on it. So I'm going to build this one manually instead of doing a hotkey. I'll click Add Bone Constraint and Inverse Kinematics. Now, the target is the rig itself. So under Target, if I just type in Rig, it's rig.robot. And I'll click back on this control. The sub-target is foot, ik.left.001. Now, if you're coming from Maya, this might seem weird. You're probably used to using a locator to make your IK setup in Maya. In Blender, joints or bones make everything. So your controllers are joints, your IK targets are joints, all your constraints are joints. Everything lives in joints in the rig. And this is a big change from Maya. Later on in a couple of the videos, I'd like to talk more about how to build rigs for Unity in Blender because it can be a bit different with this type of a setup. So I can test this now. I can just grab this joint and just move it. And you'll see that I'm getting this really weird issue right now. That's because I have to do one more thing in my IK controller. If I click on it here, I need to set the chain length. If you don't set that, you're going to have big issues. So I want to go from one to three bones. So I'll set my chain length from one to three. And now I'm just going to move this controller and you're seeing how my leg here is moving. I'm just going to zero that out and hit G again. Just move it around. Yep, that's working out well. I want to also set the pull target of this leg. So I'm going to grab this 
um, IK foot bone that I made down here. I'll go to side view and I'm just going to go to edit mode and I'll just duplicate this. And I want the pull target to be about here. Um, I could have it basically be about from the center of that knee right there, but this is going to be fine right here. So I'm just going to rename this. Um, I'll call it leg underscore IK pull dot left dot zero zero one. And I know I'm going to need this name later, so I'm just going to click on it and do Command C or Control C on a Windows machine just to copy it. I'll go back to pose mode. I'll click on this bottom control here. And I'll go to the constraint and pull target. I'm going to type in rig.robot. And I'm just going to paste the bone in here. Now, I've talked about this in other videos. The leg has just flipped. A lot of people will just put the pull angle at 90 degrees to fix this or in this case, negative 90, but that's not the correct solution for this. I have to fix the axes going down the leg bone. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna click on armature. I'm gonna to go to viewport display and I'm gonna turn on axes. So the way the pull target works in Blender is the X axes is what actually looks at the pull target. So every bone has three axes here and you can see them when I turned on the axis, there's the X, the Z, I'm sorry, the Z and the Y. Let me put the pull target back to zero. So the X axis right now is facing this way. And that's because right now it is pointing at the pull target. That's how the pull target works in Blender. What I want to do is I want the X axis to face the pull target by default. If I just turn off this IK, you can see that by default, my bone roll has the x-axis pointing this way, and that's bad. I want this x-axis to point front view. So there's an easy way to fix this. I'm just going to go to edit mode, and I'm going to select my three IK bones here. So I want the x to point forward. Now, if you think of the way Blender works with world axes, uh, y is technically forward on a global view. So what I can do is I can go to armature bone roll, recalculate roll, and I'm going to do global x axes. So now if you see my x axes by default, they're all pointing at the pull vector in their default position. Even this one technically is, but it's just the way of the direction of that bone. So now when I go back to pose mode and I click on this constraint here and I turn on the IK constraint, I can leave my pull angle at zero. I don't need to put it at 90 or negative 90. Now it's just at zero. And if I want, I can use this pull angle to do something else and go as far as I can with it in both directions. I can just test this out really quickly. I can grab the pull and hit GX. Yep, that's working great. So that's just moving the leg and the axis there. I need to do one more thing. I need all of the bones to have the same roll. Meaning watch what happens when I turn on my deformed bones. The roll on my deformed bones here are facing in the wrong direction. And I also need my FK bones to have that same roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off shapes here and I'll select my deformed bones and my FK just going down here. And I'm going to do the exact same uh, change. I'm going to go to edit, armature, bone roll, recalculate roll, global positive X axis. If I don't do this, when I start adding constraints from my deformed bones to my IK bones, they're going to flip their axes to match the IK. And then my rig is going to be flipping for some reason, and I'm not going to know why. Let's go back to object mode. I want to show you what I mean by this flipping thing. And I'm just going to turn on my deformed bone and my uh, IK constraint bone right now. So I'm going to go back to pose mode, and with the I'm going to click on the deform bone here. And I'm just going to go to edit mode and I'm just going to put the roll to zero. So now that it has this minus Z here and this X here, it's not matching the deform bone anymore. So when I go to pose mode and I click on the IK controller, there's two bones layered up here. That's how I'm clicking on them. And that's why it might seem a little bit odd. I'm looking at what I have selected based on this uh, key up here. So right now I have the leg ik.left.001 selected. If I hold shift and just click, I click on leg deform bone left.001. 
Uh, there's another way to sort of visualize this. And I'll just click on my IK layer here, and I'm going to flip to B bone. Now, if I select on these three bones here and do Control Alt S, I can scale those down. Now, if I hold Shift and go back to my deform layer, I can see both bones layered on top of each other. So I'll select on the IK bone and I'll Shift select on the deform bone. And now I'm going to do Control Shift C, Copy Transforms. Now it looks like nothing's changed, but let's just turn on the leg. So let's go view, local view, toggle local view. So because that deform bone now has a copy transforms to that leg, see how it's flipped? That's why the axes need to be in the same space because the copy transforms works really well when the original axes are in the same place or my rig is gonna break. So let's fix that really quickly again. I'll just grab this deform bone. I'll go to edit mode, armature, bone roll, Recalculate roll global positive X. And if I go back to pose mode and I just turn on these axes. And if I go back to pose mode and turn on these axes, they're all moving correctly. But there's something else I have to fix. Because I changed the roll of the bone while objects were connected to a bone parent, it's actually moved them. So I need to go back to object mode and remake these parents on all the leg pieces. So I just select them. And I'll just select them all. And I'll do Alt P, clear parent, puts them back to default. And it's one of the bad parts about doing bone parent. If you change anything on the bone in edit mode, you also change the uh, position of the objects connected to it. Bone relative does not have this issue. I'll turn back on X-ray and I'll click on the rig. I just want the deformed bones visible. So I'll start with um, this piece up here. I'm just gonna connect these two to the leg joint here. So I'll go to pose mode. Sorry, I'll click on the rig and go to pose mode and select on this bone here. And I'll do control P, bone. Then I'll grab these pieces down here, click on the rig, click on this piece, do control P, bone. And I'll just do the foot piece here with this cylinder in here. I'll hold shift, I'll click on the rig, if I can find it here. I'll go to pose mode select on this bottom bone and do control P bone. Let's go back to the IK structure really quick on this layer here and let's isolate the rig again. So I'm gonna go back to object mode and I'll just turn off the leg layer for now. I'm gonna go to pose mode and just test this out. So if I hit G that's moving, that's moving fine. And I have this nice um, rotation with the pole vector there. For this rig, I'm actually just gonna parent the pole to the foot for now. There are a couple more advanced settings I can do, but for now, I'm just gonna do this. So I need to flip to edit mode, control P, keep offset. So I'll go back to pose mode. I'll click on this, move it around. Yep, it's looking good. Now what I need to do is I've already built this copy transforms here. I need to do it on the other deform bones. So this one, I'm gonna click on the IK bone, shift click on the deform bone, do shift control C, copy transforms. And I'll do it to this one as well. Click on this one. The manual way for this as well was to go pose, constraint, add with targets, copy transforms. Now, when I move the IK target, the deform bone moves with it. Let's see what that looks like with the leg. So if I turn this back on, I can now move this and yep, I'm moving the leg, that piston's following along. I'm getting some really interesting uh, dynamics to that leg. If I move this here and I go back to my rig and turn on the FK controllers, see how they're staying behind? What this is, is this is now my two controller setups. So I'll turn shapes back on and I'll turn off X-ray so you can see my FK controllers. So this is my IK here and I'm connecting the deform bones to the IK with a copy transforms. Now each of these deformed bones has a copy transforms. And what this allows me to do is if I turn these all off, I now have the rig going on to the FK setup. So what this means is I can now use drivers to build a switch from FK to IK, and then the animator can work in whatever option they want. So in the next video, we'll build that switch and we'll make those parts work so that they're all connected. And we might just do a bit more work on the IK foot as well. Bye-bye.